Mary Chen, No Color Run Club. Come on out. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Mary, I'm so excited to have you on as someone who's uh, done a bit of run club producing myself. <laughs> nice. I understand the struggle of getting people out all year to get on their feet and put a little miles on yeah. the ground. Yeah. So tell me about the start of No Power Run Club. So I moved here about seven years ago, and I was part of a run club in Austin, Texas. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, run, get a cold brew, tacos afterwards. It was pretty, pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. um, came to Portland, didn't have a run club, didn't have any friends. I was in North Portland, and it was up and coming, so I was really excited to get to know my neighborhood and to, mm -hmm. um, you know, just see what I could do to be part of the community. And so, kind of upgraded from like, <laughs> yeah, just a bit. Well, I mean, it was like two dollar tacos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like not craft beer. So, um, found a brewery and then found a great spot um, that needed business. Yeah. And so, um, Meetup was also starting to be a new way to find Meetup.com. Um, mm -hmm, yeah. A new way to find activities and groups and people, and so posted that and the first day there was like seven people and um, it was awesome. It was mostly new uh, people to Portland. Yeah. And then a couple of locals, which was almost like <laughs> a diamond in the rough. You're like, you're from Portland? Awesome. <laughs> that awkward conversation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, every week after that, I'd be like, oh, I've been here for two days. I've been here for like two weeks. And, yeah. And then that Portland anniversary started happening and then it was like, no Po Run Club anniversary. And yeah. So, um, yeah, you basically needed to be able to run three to six miles, and you mm -hmm. needed to be able to drink a beer and hang out and have fun. Yeah, all um, required. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, because there. Are... Or cider. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, because um, I tried to join some other run clubs that were already um, in Portland, but mm -hmm. it was either a little bit serious. Yeah. Or a lot more drinking. Yeah. So I needed like a yeah. happy balance. And also there wasn't a run club in North Portland. Right. And so I moved in uh, February mm -hmm. and that rain and the dark and I'm not going to drive right. <laughs> yeah. after four o'clock anywhere. <laughs> right. So it was just nice to be able to um, come downstairs from my apartment and then walk to the bar. You made it super convenient for I yourself, did. I did. <laughs> which is awesome. <laughs> and then, uh, like now, it's not just you and seven people. Yeah. Your numbers have grown like <laughs> yeah. substantially. Yeah. Uh, tell me about some of the numbers and, and some of the events that brought in yeah, so a lot of people. Yeah, so it kind of grew exponentially. Um, and I think it was also because Mississippi was growing, so oh, yeah. people would see us running and they're like, "Hey, what is this?" And yeah. um, as it got bigger and bigger, people thought it was like a weekly race. I'm like, nope, just runners like hanging yeah. out. Um, and I really think the word of mouth and, um, you know, just having the, I guess the, the joke, like after a year, it was just like, you gotta stay for the after party. Like you yeah. gotta run, drink, good late happy hour, yeah. make some real connections. And then you start climbing and doing yoga and seeing movies and, um, checking out all the music spots and and you're really and then, building community with mm -hmm. this because not only are you having a bunch of people together but mm -hmm. they're running around the city they're running yeah, around exactly. North Portland yeah. yeah so then we started supporting like a lot of the other um, businesses there for food and for um, you know just a lot of other things the Mississippi Street Fest so mm -hmm. that was kind of a great way to be social and to see what the new businesses were mm -hmm. um, and then we started doing Hood to Coast and oh, cool. so that was like a big draw I think because it was um, can we talk about Hood to Coast for all those people <laughs> who don't know um. yeah so <laughs> I had no idea about relays when I started running um, and it's still crazy to me it's 200-ish miles, two vans, 12 runners, um, it's overnight. If you're lucky, you get done in 30 hours. Um, so it's definitely like a bonding, it's a kind of make or break yeah. in the van. 
And it all um, goes goes on like continuously. Yeah, there's no stopping. Um, and so I ended up getting in the lottery, but then I wanted to pay it forward and um, support Providence Cancer Research. Oh, so we awesome. were a fundraising team, mm -hmm. and so then that also created more events that we had to do together and kind of pull for the community and yeah. um, get the word out for, for our team. Awesome. Um, but yeah, it was great. Now you you said you've mentioned before that you've incorporated a few businesses. Can we talk about some mm -hmm. of those businesses that uh, were yeah, so, so accommodating for you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, and Mississippi has grown, so we have Stormbreaker Brewing, which is where we are now. But Ecliptic yeah. Brewing is there too. Yeah. And then uh, Porcino Mississippi Pizza, and also Coop Awesome. I got to see her <laughs> for the first time at our late night like awesome. after, after party. Um, and then. Um, Uchu because they do all day happy hour on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So sushi, yeah, cool, awesome. Cool. Um, yeah, yeah. And for uh, my audience who would like to get involved with Nopo Run Club, uh, let's talk about the schedule. Okay, so it's every Wednesday, six thirty. Um, we meet at Stormbreaker Brewing, mm -hmm. and so we meet there, run there, and then you just have to make it back to the bar. Yeah, and uh, you said it's three or six miles, mm -hmm. and uh, all paces welcome. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, you can't find your pace within 50 people. I don't know what to tell you. 